there's a soccer ball like molecule of 60 carbons that's setting the world of health and well being on fire. Everybody's talking about it right now. It's called C60 or Buckminster Fullerene. Short, Buckyballs. Why does this matter? Because this is the holy grail of reducing oxidative stress in the body. We're going to learn quite a bit more about it today, talking with Bob Greska, who has invested himself in this, and he came from a rather unusual background, not you would necessarily expect to be involved in this kind of subject matter. So Bob, take it away. Welcome. It's good to have you on the show, and I'd like to find out a little bit about your own background uh, in the aerospace industry, because somehow you think, how do these things even come together, right? Yeah, hi, Regina. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, my background is in carbon and carbon, uh, a carbon engineer working in the aeros aerospace business. We made uh, graphite epoxy components out of carbon fiber, uh, graphite epoxy, carbon carbon leading edges for reentry, uh, taking the high heat on the leading edge of a, uh, the, the shuttle. Uh, I worked on shuttle tiles too, but my background is has been in carbon. I've I studied carbon in college. I was ready to go into carbon back in when I graduated in 1978, and so I've worked quite a bit with with, with carbon. And um, uh, having that background, uh, we were looking at one time of using uh, carbon 60. We heard about it. I mean, it was only discovered in 1985, so it's fairly new. Um, I heard about it in about 2000, early 2012, and we were working on a project. Uh, I'm a research engineer, and where uh, they were using the carbon 60, the industrial grade, for a lubricant. Yeah, they were adding the carbon to um, engine oil for automotive purposes, and they were having some very, very good success with it as far as reducing the friction and so forth. And and that's when I said, ah. I think I know how to make that. And not looking at how other people made the molecule or converted the carbon, I developed a process to convert the carbon. Uh, take a uh, carbon source, uh, disassemble it, and, or reassemble it in the form of, form of a buckyball, like, like one of these, and uh, use, use that. Uh, and, and, and after we did that, it made, it made a very, very tiny, small amount of it. And then the second time, you always improve the process. We made the size of a head of a pin, a very small amount of it again. And then, you know, you modify the process and pull in your process parameters tighter and you, you make a larger amount. We made it like a BB size. And then we, we had it analyzed and had it looked at underneath the scanning electron microscope, but it was too small to see. And realized uh, we did some... Uh, some testing of it ourselves and some independent tests were done on it to prove that, yeah, it was carbon-60. <clears throat> and, and, and it's a process that was developed without using any solvents. Um, and, and solvents are, are, are toxic. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't want to use any toxic solvents in, in manufacturing a process, especially, especially if you're consuming it. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Yeah, corrosive by nature, but also the, the thing I was wondering about is because it was beyond the reach of the uh, electro electronic scanning microscopes, you know, the really high, high end microscopy field, how were you able to determine what its configuration is? How do you, how do you know that it looks like these buckyballs? Well, the same way they observe it from space almost, uh, they, they can determine by the, the color, the transmission through it. They've seen, uh, found carbon-60 way out in space, and it's basically an optical transmission. Uh, you can put light through it, and only certain wavelengths of light, because of the atomic spacing, will, will space through it and, and uh, give you a, a certain color hue uh, that, that comes through. And, and then we... You know, and, and just by, um, you know, it's, it, it, yes, they're very small. It, can you see what you're doing? No, <laughs> but but you can be a th theoretical about it, and you can and you can you can you know, I mean, work out some of the problems and some of the the areas that you think that are gray areas, and you can zero, you just zero in on it, just like most science is discovered. It's it's all it's all theoretical until you put it to practice. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this is a hard science. I mean, this has a lot of respect, even in the most conservative institutions, such as the National Institute of Health. So this isn't some kind of fly-by-night um, speculative 
snake oil that people are so suspicious of these days. This is hard science. And with that, I'd like to go back to the beginning. Croto Curl and Smalley, Rice University, Nobel Prize. This is a Nobel Prize winning discovery. So give us, fill us in on the background of the hard science behind it. Well, they discovered it back in 1985, and they were, were awarded the Nobel Prize in 1996. And uh, there were there were researchers that, that did quite a bit of work and extensive in discovering this the, the, the carbon 60. Now, what I don't know know exactly what they were working for, what, why they were working, what they were working on to discover this, but uh, they're the ones that are credited with the discovery of the carbon 60 molecule. What, what, what I found interesting, just kind of searching through Wikipedia and some other sources on the background of it, is essentially the incredible grace, harmony, and beauty and simplicity of this in the sense that it is incredibly stable. It has no toxic effects on the human body, but also the geometry itself seems to be able to hold its integrity or stability even when mixing with other chemicals, for example. And it sounds like what they did was they were using, I think it was a laser vaporization process with carbon. So here we're talking about intensely saturated light and carbon, which essentially is planet Earth. All the life forms on Earth, most mm -hmm. of the life for forms on Earth mm -hmm. contain, right? Yeah, if you look at carbon, uh, carbon is in essence in everything, every life form on Earth. Carbon is the backbone. We are carbon beings. Uh, carbon is in all organic matter by definition. Uh, being organic means of having carbon. So we're made out of carbon. Uh, we eat carbon. Uh, of everything on the periodic uh, table of elements, those people who remember their chemistry, uh, the periodic chart, uh, carbon is the most thing we put into our mouth by anything on that chart. Um, it's, it's found in uh, diamond. Diamond is made up of carbon, which is very hard. Actually, and that's in a, a, a triangular structure is the uh, diamond configuration. Then you have uh, uh, graphene, which is a hexagonal flat sheet of it, uh, which is a recent discovery. And they roll those into tubes and they make nanostructures out of them, which is very, very strong. Uh, then there's uh, graphite, which is amorphous, which is random. There's charcoal, which is amorphous and random. They're all they're all based on car they're all carbon. So carbon can can be reconfigured into different configurations, uh, either diamonds, balls, spheres, amorphous, and that the shape uh, geometry has a, a huge play in the factor uh, of, of what they can do. Now, the the carbon sixty molecule. Uh, con consisting of 60 carbon atoms. Each one of these black nodes represents a carbon atom. It looks very much like a soccer ball. And it has the ability, because of the configuration, uh, carbon, what makes carbon, let me back up a little bit, carbon fiber is so strong because car carbon, carbon bond, they share two electrons. So sharing two electrons versus one electron makes it much stronger. So here, they, they, they share two electrons here, but the, the configuration allows them to donate an electron. And that's what makes the, that's what is called an antioxidant, something that gives up an electron. Uh, we find it in red wine. We find it in your darker berries. Uh, it's all very healthy. We've heard about this for years. N now we have it in a, in a bottle. Uh, you know, it's, here's, here's one of my products here. It's carbon 60 organic sunflower oil. But, um, you know, we've, we've not synthesized it, we've converted the carbon from a carbon source, a, a good, clean, organic source, and converting it into the, pulling it all apart and reconfiguring it and making it going into a sphere and what they get, without the use of solvents or anything like that. So what is the uh, kind of, well, this is probably not even a fair question. I mean, this is an icosahedron, right? An icosahedron has its own value, whether you're looking at it from ancient sacred texts all the way through to kind of modern and even new age meditative practices. The icosahedron in itself has a very, is a very powerful structure, right? Well, if you look at geometry th throughout history, uh, you know, everything was evolved by the stars and following around, you know, 360 is a, a, a magic number. It's 365 days in the year, but 
maybe they didn't count very good back in the count of 360 and put them into a circle. Um, yeah, geometry plays a significant factor in, in many, many parts. I've noticed that uh, working in the aerospace business, it's, uh, there's quite a, quite a thing to depend upon geometry. So you were talking about this a bit ago. Free radicals are electron donators, right? Correct. Okay, let's explain what happens when you have a donator versus an acceptor. Well, most of your toxins are electron stealers. So the toxins in the water we drink, the air we breathe, uh, the food we eat, um, we're exposed to toxins all day long. And they, they will go into your body and steal an electron. Uh, that's what toxins are. Uh, they're the ionically, the, 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 like, like heavy metals, they call it, but the, the ionically charged metals, those metals that are missing electron are called ions, and those are the toxic ones. So they get into your body, um, and they steal an electron off a molecule in your body. And when they do that, that molecule, now missing electron, knows not what it is. It doesn't function properly. It impedes the cell that it's attached to from functioning correctly. And uh, with a lot of toxins in your body, you, you feel sick. You're depleted. You're because you you because some of the cells in your body are that attach to these mo ionic these molecules, they're they're not functioning. So what the carbon sixty does is. Uh, the particles are so small, uh, single molecules are 1.1 nanometers. So they're extremely tiny, uh, and they go, they'll, they'll penetrate your skin within two minutes. They'll be systemic in your body. Uh, you put it in your mouth. I mean, I see one guy react with a brain seizure. Uh, three seconds, his brain seizure stopped uh, just by putting it on his tongue. So it, it goes very quickly into the bloodstream because of the particle size. But once they get in your body, and we, we, we pack over 100 billion carbon-60 molecules per serving, and once they get into your body, they will seek out and find magnetically and attract you because the, they're ready to donate electron, which is a negative, and the ion or the free radical is a positive. So having single molecules is hugely important that they're so small that their mass is low that they can, that minor little attraction, that magnetic attraction, which is very, very small, they'll go and attach to each other and they'll share an electron in completing uh, that, that's, that molecule, which is no longer a free radical, so it turns that molecule back on so it functions. So if you look at it this way, um, free radicals are like tiny roadblocks throughout your whole body. And there's millions of them. Uh, and, if, and, if, and they impede the flow of the energy through your body and how your body functions. If you remove those roadblocks, your body has more energy to heal itself. And basically, in a nutshell, that's what it does. The carbon-60 doesn't cure anything. It just removes the roadblocks that allows your body to heal itself. Yeah, I find that uh, interesting. So if you're just talking in really kind of dumbed down layman's terms, when you're talking about free radicals, they have been essentially corrupted. And you're talking about the notion of having lost also the, the capacity to generate our own kind of smooth flowing um, electrical field and, and, and contact or information communication between cells. Isn't that what happens when the molecules start degrading and losing electrons? Yeah, they don't communicate very good. They lose their 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 um, uh, their connection, like like in the synapse, uh, the synapse fluid in your brain, where you have two like like tentacle looking things, where you have your synapse fluid and you you fire across those. Uh, the carbon is has one particular property. Carbon is very conductive. It's three times as conductive as copper. Mm -hmm. So when you put these particles in that fluid in your synapse fluid, uh, it will. Uh, just like lightning follows the water down, the rain, uh, you put conductive particles in a way, it's going to follow the rain down and strike. The same thing here, you put conductive particles in your synapse fluid, it, it, it makes them fire better. Yeah, okay, well that seems like it's pretty essential to really basic human health. Okay, so now 
you became, once you made this discovery of your own and started becoming intrigued with it, you decided to start developing it in terms of an actual absorbable product line, which is what you're doing now. And you cho chose to use a base of sunflower oil. A lot of the other products out there are using olive oil, for example. And I guess one of the questions that kind of organically popped up in my mind is when you're looking at it in terms of the omega content, when you have safflower, or sunflower oil, as I understand, that's a little more heavily loaded toward omega-6s. Uh, olive oil may be loaded toward omega-9s. And then, of course, we have our spectrum of oils that are loaded toward omega-3s. How if at all, do, does the omega factor factor into this as a, as a base fluid? Well, the oil that's used, um, I mean, it works, it suspends very well in all different kinds of oils. We've tested sunflower oil. We found we have better suspension. We don't, uh, the sunflower oil does not go bad or sour, does not go rancid over a long okay. period of time. Uh, olive oil is small batch, um, has particulates in it. And olive oil uh, doesn't have a very long shelf life. Now, now, but, but when it comes to the oil, the, the quantity of oil you're taking is small, so it's fairly insignificant. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've got your olive oil, your grapeseed, your sunflower oil. They're all in a top 90% group together, pretty close together as far as health benefits for you or, or health deterrence for you. Um, so they're, they're all very similar. It's not, it's not the oil. It's, it's, it's the carbon. The carbon makes a big difference. And, it, and that's 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 the the bottom line is the the particle size of the carbon and the rancidity factor it like you just mentioned yeah yeah i can't go rancid on so we we've left our, our our product in the in the in the sun of a dashboard in the hot sun of colorado here uh, all summer long never never went sour never went rancid uh so it has a very good stability it's it's good for at least two years um we we, we keep we have some that's much been, been around a lot longer than that for four years and it has not gone rancid. Okay. Um, I would like to get into some of the anecdotal information. Also talk about some of the conditions that um, are, are helped in the body or reversed in the body um, by using this kind of, by using C60 actually. So maybe I know cardiovascular is one, but go ahead and tell us some of the conditions that, um, the industry at large is seeing having benefited by the C60 consumption? Well, a lot of it is uh, related to muscle function or part of it. Um, as an athlete, you have high muscle function, you produce oxidative, st have oxidative stress, you produce free radicals. Your body removes these free radicals naturally over three or four days. Uh, that's why you have delayed onset muscle soreness that coming in at 24 to 48 hours after you have a hard workout. Um, and that's why you work out, because it removes the free radicals from your body caused by the oxidative stress. But mm -hmm. in, the, in the process, it also removes free radicals from the, um, from the toxins. So, I mean, and that's the benefit you gain from working out, you remove some of these toxic free radicals. But, but more directed toward your question, what are the anecdotal evidence? There's, there's considerable anecdotal evidence showing that it works uh, quite well uh, with any free radical caused issue. And mo most health issues are caused by free radicals. They're the, miss they're the ones that are missing electrons. So uh, any health issue that's caused by a free radical, this goes in the rest of free radical and people have seen significant improvements in their health because of that free radical is no longer impeding their body to heal itself naturally. So the muscular function of the chambers of the heart, for example, um, cardiovascular disease is something that would benefit from this? Well, cardiovascular disease is, from what I understand, is a buildup of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. now, why your cholesterol builds up, uh, I don't know if that's generated by a free radical. It could very well be caused, be caused by that. Uh, now, muscle function increases considerably uh, when you take the carbon 60. Well, also I was thinking uh, of the heart and just the ability of it to strengthen itself. Well, it's, the heart is a muscle. Yeah. Um, uh, athletes, and any athlete has taken my product, has taken pretty much across the board first place. Uh, that improves their performance. They, their muscles don't fatigue, their muscles don't get sore. Uh, they can, because we're, if they have this floating around in the blood, what happens is they, from my oxidative stress, they generate the free radical, it removes the free radical, Johnny on the spot right there. 
so it's gone. So it doesn't impede their progress. Uh, we've had many people uh, take it, and uh, most all of them have taken first place. Uh, either, you know, runners, uh, uh, weightlifters, they can lift more weights. Uh, and it doesn't take very long to act in your body. Um, most people see a difference in about four days. Uh, because once it gets into your body and it gets kind of uh, stabilized or it gets in your body, in about four days people notice uh, about everybody reports that they have more energy. About 99% of the people say, I feel like I have more energy, especially... Uh, the people that are older, uh, as you're older, you have been exposed to more toxins. You have more free radicals, so you see a more significant improvement. I've had, we've had a, well, a handful, and, and really only a handful of young athletes that said, ah, I noticed nothing. Well, you're going to have that, you know. Uh, but the ones that have been, but, but that's only been about a handful out of thousands of people that have taken it. Uh, so there's not, not, not very many of them. So is it fair to say that um, part of its function is just then to reduce inflammation in the body, which seems to be the culprit at the core of uh, most chronic conditions, including cancer? It's, it seems to do that. It seems to go in and either uh, reduce inflammation or open up a pathway so your body's white blood cells can go in there and eradicate the inflammation. Like we have many people that have arthritis and they've taken the carbon-60. Now, the first couple of day, days, they, they may feel a little bit more pain in their joints. Um, uh, it's because sort of like the carbon-60 opens up a pathway for the white blood cells to go in there and eradicate the inflammation. But after a couple of days, uh, and I guess the first couple of days, that's a little bit more painful. Uh, but after a couple of days, uh, their pain subsides, uh, most of it, 90% uh, or more or, or 100%. Uh, even topically applying, if you had it in your wrist, you apply it topically. People have noticed and reported two minutes. Mm. The, pain goes, the pain goes away. Uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's miraculous, basically. So it's, it's super effective at permeating the, any kind of skin barriers and so forth. Yes. Yes, it goes right through the skin and uh, probably goes systemic throughout your body in two minutes. I've had people put it on... Uh, People have a limited mobility in their neck. They could only turn their head so far, and you put some on two minutes later, they're, they're, they're turning their head back and forth, and it was with no pain. I, you <laughs> you know? Know, like people are so accustomed to I mean, I've done so many stories, especially with Guy on my show Healing Matrix, on every kind of device and product imaginable and so forth. And, of course, everybody wants to hear that there is, there is a holy grail, that there is something that is so essentially true that it could benefit them and of course you don't know until you start taking it playing around with it and everybody's different and everybody has a lot of different factors in terms of what makes out up its health profile or not um, even even if you start interweaving kind of the psycho spiritual elements of life that cause inflammation and pain but even so I mm -hmm. guess you'd have to say that when we add those other elements in those two are having that physiological oxidative stress effect on the body. What about um, the effects on the immune system? Does it have any properties that can kind of counterbalance microbial, viral, fungal, bacterial effects in the body? Um, well, being an anti-inflammatory reaction people are having, I believe so. Uh, we've seen uh, almost across the board, uh, anybody who takes it for most anything, they see an improvement. And uh, the, so I, I believe it's got to have some help. Uh, either, you know, and, and possibly why they're deficient in that area, they have free radicals that are blocking or inhibiting them. And they move the free radicals, it opens up, it fixes that part of the body. The body naturally wants to heal itself. Yeah, and, and with without the inhibitors, in a way, it it, it heals itself. Yeah, um, another thing I read is that it can tend to diminish uh, or scavenge the lactic acid buildup in the body in muscles after uh, exercise and so forth. And in some of the more recent science, um, I've done I did a series on it uh, on cancer, uh, having to do with uh, the theory that cancer cells have one thing in common. They have a buildup of lactic acid in the cell structure. Mm 
And so you have to dump that lactic acid. And so looking at it from more of a workout point of view and lactic acid buildup in the muscle, it sounds like systemically it would be dumping, helping to dump lactic acid. Is that true or not? I had a chiropractor explain that to me once. I'm not a biology major. I'm a, I'm a science carbon major. And he explained it to me that the lactic acid builds up uh, and then the carbon, then it breaks down to folic acid and some other acid and then it's eliminated by the carbon 60. He's, he, you know, so. Uh, that's interesting. That's, no, that to me, because of the research I've done in this other area having to do with cancer and the newest understanding of what all cancer cells have in common. Um, and I, I did an interview with uh, Dr. Donis Warden, Dominique D'Agostano, um, I think it was Travis Christofferson, a whole series of interviews. And I was, I never, I, I never, I don't remember whether his name is Travis or Trevor. I'm so sorry, Trevor or Travis. But in any event, um, he did a beautiful job chronicling the discovery of this. That is, that to me is the most critical information really um, I've heard so far because there's something everything has in common. And this whole notion of this lactic acid buildup isn't just for weightlifters, it sounds to me. This is, this is really critical to our chronic overall well-being. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I, I would agree. I mean, if you look at cancer, cancer is nothing but a series of free radicals. There are molecules missing an electron. And if you get two of those molecules close together, you've always heard that cancer vibrates at a different frequency. Well, it does because it's missing an electron. And when it's missing an electron, as a cancer cell, it knows not what it is. It doesn't function. It just sits there and consumes, consumes energy from your body without putting anything back into it. And um, if you get two of these free radicals next to each other and they both are missing an electron, uh, they have enough mass to kick the third cell, the third molecule next to it, to kick off an electron there. And then it's a domino effect. They get enough mass to do that. It's, 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 it's simple mechanics, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they propagate into a bunch of free radicals, which is, uh, which is called cancer. Right. So. No, I mean, I find that very exciting about what you're doing and you and others are doing. Um, but w tell us a little bit just about kind of your own spin on it and your own product and, and really kind of what you're trying to accomplish with this and in the uniqueness of what you do. Well, I, I worked in the aerospace business working in a defense-related industry and making uh, defense products, which which is really offense and so you're making offensive weapons and i said you know th those things hurt people they they end up making bombs or, <laughs> or or doing things of destruction and it's really not prolificating life or helping life you're putting life out and i that's when i quit the aerospace business after realizing that that's where my time and efforts were going into and then i said you know i'm a smart guy i'm going to put my efforts into helping people and that's when I started to work on projects that were for basically for human performance. Uh, we made the hyperbaric chamber, which uh, simulates a high altitude. Uh, we've done that. We've um, generated um, uh, the, the, the springs, the springs that are in the heels of running shoes. Um, we we pioneered that market and uh, made some carbon fiber springs, and that, those those took off. Um, so we're, and I made. Of platforms for hospitals, uh, force platforms out of carbon fiber, honeycomb structures, uh, so people could uh, determine the metabolism of people. So my heart, my heart went in that direction to to making um, things things to, to benefit human performance. You know, we made lifting things to help you lift more exoskeletons, make you lift more. We made carbon fiber graphite uh, violin bows. Uh, uh, pool cues, you know, different things just to play around with it, to see what was going on. But my heart's always been into doing something that benefits people and um, coming upon, you know, then you're stumbling across this product or technology uh, and being able to, oh, you know, get it out. We tried it on friends and family and people. Uh, I take carbon 60 every day for four years now or five years now. I, I pretty much, pretty much every day. Um, some days I, I'll go, I'll test myself and go without it for a week or so. And I'll go, Oh, I start to feel a little sluggish. So I take some more carbon and <laughs> it jumps me back up there. 
you know, it just seems to me that it's a simple story and it is a profound and grace-filled story. How simpler can it get than to be able to inspire our molecules to just go back where they're going with two of the most, with the most natural element to our physical reality on earth. It just sounds so simple. And uh, I like things that are direct and have that kind of grace to it. But I suppose people at this point are thinking, yeah, but okay. So the yeah, but is always, is this really expensive stuff? I know they can go online and find it from a lot of different people. Um, how, how costly is it for people if they do decide they want to play around with it? Well, we sell our product online at $70 a bottle for a 45 day supply. It is a small one ounce bottle. We have highly concentrated carbon molecules in here. We, ours is black, but ours is the only one that I know of that's black on the market. Everybody else is amber. You can look through it. It looks like um, whatever oil they put it in. Uh, it's because the concentration is way different. Uh, the processing that we have developed to make the single molecules makes a big difference. Uh, that's, 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 that's the most significant impact because the, the, the molecules are not clustered together. Um, and and we, we don't use solvents. And the solvent is what causes them to cluster together too, and the solvent is toxic. Um, but we don't use that. So we don't have any clustering of the molecules. We have single molecules that are very, very tiny. Many, many cars. There's, I mean, I say there's uh, over 100 billion that I just put on that piece of paper. There's a lot more than that because they're so small. <laughs> But people cannot fathom over 100 billion very much more. It's a, a billion is a big number. <laughs> it's a big no. number. <laughs> what do you do? I mean, do you just put it under your tongue? And is it oily or is it watery or what's um, it? It's got a slight oily texture. Mm -hmm. It is sunflower oil, but mm -hmm. the sunflower we use is highly filtered. It's cleaned up, so there's no, there's virtually no taste to it. Mm -hmm. um, you put it under uh, your tongue? So, so, or? No, you just put it in your mouth, uh, mm -hmm. not necessarily under your tongue. You could swallow it right away. You're, it'll it'll you know, penetrate through your esophagus into your stomach lining and into your body within minutes. I've had <clears throat> you know, some doctors take it and they go, oh, gosh, I can feel it. My, my elbow, I had some problems with it. I can feel it there working. People that are in tune with their body uh, will notice it happen uh, quite a way. And like I say, if you want to get back to any of the anecdotal evidence, I've got you could probably just name any health issue and I can tell you an anecdotal evidence of anything that went on with it. So. Okay. Do you have a website that they can, <clears throat> people can look at? Uh, we, do, we, do, we, have a, we do have a website. Um, we have, uh, it's, 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 it's uh, C as in carbon, C-60.com. And you can get on there by just typing in C-60.com. Uh, or we also have another website which is linked to it, which we have uh, testimonies on there, uh, or, or actually reviews they're called now. They're not really called testimonies, but that's a different website. Uh, but that's livebetterwithcarbon.com. And you can get to there and look at that, and you can jump back from website to website. Okay, sounds good. Well, um, I tend to be a personality that's fairly optimistic and super open-minded. I'm always ready to kind of give the next thing a try. And then if it doesn't stick, well, I go on to the next thing. And I think most of our viewers are like that. But uh, most of us are open-minded enough that we, we, we you sense into it and see whether or not it feels like there's truth for us. That's just kind of how my audience does things. And then we give it a, give it a whirl and see how it does for us. So I would imagine there will be probably quite a few people wanting to give it a shot over time. Um, I haven't tried it, but I'm definitely up for it. We have a mutual friend, James Martinez, who's also interviewed right. you, and he's been telling me about it for a while, but it really wasn't until I started hearing other people on other shows uh, start talking about C60. I thought, I need, to, I need to get in the game and at least figure out what it's about and share that with our, our viewers here. So any final thoughts, Bob? Well, since you haven't tried it, and after the show, I'll get your address and we'll, we'll send you out some so you can try it amongst your friends and family and prove it to yourself, because I believe you'll see it does work. Um, no, it's, uh, it, I think this is a, uh, just a, in this final note, this, I think this is a revolutionary technology. I think that this is going to change the world significantly. Uh, it, it's it's non-toxic. There's no side effects. Um, 
there's there's no downside there's no negative it's carbon it's what we're made out of it's what we eat it's just a fine particle size which makes it float around in your body pretty much um, i mean everybody's familiar with a uh, you know the carbon water filters they have on their counter to clean their water out well that's carbon carbon have a, carbon has an affinity to pull out the toxins and that's what it does it pulls the toxins out not like that pulls it out of the water this pulls it out of your body and so once you start taking it um, uh, people notice uh, the first two days um, that they go through a detox phase. It pulls things out of their body. It passes them out their body. And after that, they, they like I say, four days, they have more energy. Uh, weightlifters are people that work out. Their performance goes up in about two weeks. Uh, people that have uh, like, like, like arthritis or bone on bone on their knee or shoulder replacements or go in for a knee replacement, those people are healing significantly faster. Uh, they'll hear they'll heal uh, one week in what other people takes four weeks. Um, so it, it, it just aids the benefit of helping helping your body heal itself. Well. No, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, thank, I thank James for putting us together. And I also thank you for taking the time to explain this to us. And uh, I wish you well. We'll see how it goes. We'll all let you know if we like it. Okay? Very good. I appreciate that. Thank Thanks, you. Bob. Okay. Very, Very good. I appreciate that.